Okay, welcome to day two. This should be what your project currently looks like. Your hand is outlined and you have your border completely finished. Now, for day two, what we are going to do is we are going to take our marker and we are just going to add some different lines onto our hand to make different sections. Because in these sections, we are going to be adding a variety of lines. So I already went in with my pencil and drew where I wanted these sections to be. That is probably a good start for you as well, rather than just jumping in with your Sharpie. So I have all of my sections to my hand complete. Now in all of these different sections, I'm going to fill it up using a variety of lines. So maybe I'm going to start with a straight line. And if you feel more comfortable just using a pencil at first, that's fine. And then you can go back over it with Sharpie. Once that section's done, then I'm going to switch to a new line for this section. Do you see how all of these are just new shapes? That is going to have a new line in each one. Yes, you can repeat some of these lines, but don't put them right next to each other. So if I wanted to do straight lines again, maybe I would do it up here. I would not do it right next to it. So maybe I just want to do a wiggly line. And like I said, this is a really good project for review because some of these lines we may have forgotten about. And it's really important to incorporate all of these different lines into your projects. Okay, so my wavy lines are done. I'm going to go to a new section. And maybe this one is going to be zigzags. You can see I'm working very slow, taking my time, doing a nice, neat job. Finish up this little section. There we go. So what you're going to do is you're just going to complete your hand. This is day two. Day three, I'm going to show you what we are going to do for the background. The background, just leave white for right now. I am going to continue working on my hand, so I'm going to keep the video playing. But if you want, you can get your project out and you can start working on these patterns. So I'm just going to continue working in the background.